So over the last few weeks, lots of you have installed VPNs on your Fire Stick streaming devices, and you've been asking me what's the best way to use it, what's the best setup, or you may just wonder how to install one on your Fire Stick Fire TV device, and how to use it, how to log in, and how to set it up, and what's the best practice for how to use it. So I'm going to show you all in this video, do not worry. And for those of you who aren't interested in VPNs, you don't need to pop on this video and say, this is just about VPNs or you're just selling VPNs because it's all in the title. Yes, this video is about VPNs because people ask for it. So you don't need to comment with that. But the rest of you, you can comment any questions you have about VPNs and what you want to use. Just let me know and make sure you hit that follow button if you are new. So the VPN I'm going to be demonstrating on is linked directly underneath this video. But if you can't find a link or anything like that or in my bio, just comment VPN and I will send you the link. And yes, I am partnered with them. And yes, I do get a small commission. But these VPNs are a couple of dollars a month. I'm not going to be retiring on it, trust me. So IP Vanish is what we're using. And if you want to install it on your Fire Stick, you just search IP Vanish. There's many other ones out there as well. And we have got some reviews of other ones coming, some great offers. But IP Vanish, type it in and install it, okay? Simple as that on your Fire Stick, it's there. If you have an old school Gen 2 Fire Stick, I believe this will not work on it, but you can let me know. I don't think many people are using that old school version anymore. Once you've got it installed, you log in, so you load it up, but to get your login details, to get your login details, you then have to go to their website and you just need to sign up, okay? So it's all here, get started. Like I say, comment for the link if you want and you can sign up, whichever deal. The only deal is, a few different deals the essential package is all you really need but you do get eSIM data as well it's that's not how much data you can use on your VPN that's something completely separate and that's an extra obviously there is an advanced one as well completely up to you but all you really need for your fire stick is the essential okay another question let me pop back which is asked a lot is do I need more than one VPN for different devices no with this VPN it will go on unlimited devices so you could sign up and put it on every single device you want it on for one sign up price if you choose to use it okay right next question i get asked a lot is what location should you use ideally you can either go with default location or go and select one which is close to you okay this is for well unless unless you need a location which is for a specific geolocation is say you're on holiday or you're trying to access a website from a different country. So the easiest way is to click connect the default location and it will pick you up a fast one near you. So mine's obviously gone London, close to me, nice fast one, and that is there for you, okay? So it connected as simple as that. But if you do need a different one, you just go and pick one. So you can go into your cities or your countries or anything like that, go on Argentina, connect to Argentina, you know, or you go all the way through, you've got United Kingdoms, United States, all the way through here, connect to the United States. But if you go into some of the actual towns, let's find one we could go into, okay? If you click on that, there's actually more than one server in here as well. So when people say the server's not working, so you can actually go in there and select loads. So you don't just have to pick the one it gives you, you can click loads. So people say, oh, that server's not connecting to this country, it's not doing this or that. You can go in there, view servers, and you can connect to a different one. So if you're having ones which aren't bypassing certain geo locks, go and pick a different one. There's loads, okay? And some of these may be blocked by, say, Prime, Netflix. Some won't be. So that's why you can go in and pick a different one and you'll get a better server which will run quicker, okay? So now, again, we're running. Next up, settings. Connect on Android Startup. You can turn that on. The only thing you have here on an issue on a Fire Stick is, if I'm truthful for you, is... Most Fire Sticks do not restart, they just go into sleep. So if you leave it on, it's on, but if you want it to start when it re-wakes, it's, it's worth double checking, okay? Let's put it that way. Split tunneling is used if you want to turn the VPN off on certain apps. So if you're having trouble using the VPN on, say, a Netflix or something, or Channel 5, doesn't really matter, you can go in here and you can turn it off for certain apps. So your Netflix is only on the apps you want it to be on. So here it's turned off for Apple TV on mine, just as I've done it in a demonstration. So my VPN will not um, be on when I watch Apple TV, so there's no worries about those restrictions. You can turn these on and off. Useful? Yes. Auto connect on IP Vanish launch, your connection, VPN protocol. You should 
out of all the options in there, WireGuard is by far the fastest. That's what makes this better than a lot of free VPNs because you get the WireGuard protocol, which is the fastest. But if it's not working for you, OpenVPN is good. It's another good top protocol. Right. Threat protection is a good one to put on, okay? Block ads, trackers, and malicious websites when the VPN is connected. We turn that on. Kill switch, terminate internet traffic when VPN disconnects. So if you're really worried about your internet traffic full stop and you want to be on your VPN all the time when you're on the internet, is you turn this on. Because if you don't, you do need to install the other part, but if you don't, then if your internet dropped out or the VPN dropped out, your internet still connects and you're still on that one. Okay. So there's a few things in there you can do, but there's, there's not a lot to it. Okay. Not a lot to it at all. You install it, you sign up, the offer... Again, it's running for as long as you want. I will always have the best offer for this VPN linked, and it has great access for different things. So you search it in your app store, you sign up via the link, you help support the channel, you guys get a great deal, it's cheap, you can share it with your family, but don't share it with some anybody. People say, well, why don't you just sign up for one and give it to all of us? The problem is, any one of you would be able to change the password then, and we'd all be locked out. So you only want to share it with people that you trust, and you know they're not just going to, you know, change the password. Brilliant. So I've been Doc Squiffy. If you need that link, just comment VPN or check out the links underneath or you can even look in my bio. You should be able to find it. But if not, message me, comment and I will get back to you. It may take me a little while, but I'll get back to you. Brilliant. So I've been Doc Squiffy. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you soon.